guys, Universe Angels here. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I turn an empty computer box that I have into something useful instead of throwing it away. This iMic box is really strong and sturdy and I was going to feel guilty throwing it away. So I'm going to turn it into a chair. Now the first thing I'm going to do is open it up and analyze what I'm going to be working with. This is what I have inside. Now I will be keeping some, just to keep the structure strong. I'm gonna be adding wood inside as well. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Before I put the woods inside, I'm going to have to put a thick flat wood at the bottom. I'll be attaching the wood that's at the bottom with the wood that I'll be putting inside. Having just two wood here would not be enough, so I had to add another wood across to hold them together. I'm using a 2 inch screw to hold both pieces of wood together. Now I'm going to be adding some of what I had before back inside. For this one, I'm going to cut a little bit from both sides so that it can fit back inside. After that, I'm going to be measuring the space that I'm going to have by the sides when I have foam in the middle. For the sides, I'll be drawing out the pattern that I want from a cardboard. And the part of the structure that I traced on the cardboard was just the sides alone. And then after that, I made a slight curve. Now I'm going to be carving out the shape with a box cutter. I'm using a heavy duty box that I got from Home Depot for this project because it's much more stronger than a regular box. And I got 8 pieces from this box. I'm going to be gluing all the pieces together and taping them together. I made two of these, one that's going to be on the left and one that's going to be on the right. The tufts I'm making for today's video is going to be on wood. 
I have this wood as a leftover from another project and I'm gonna be carving out the shape that I need with a handy circular saw. I got the saw online on Amazon and it is a major help, especially with my DIY projects. And I will leave a link for this down in the description box below. It is one of the best investments that I've made for myself this year and I'm so happy I finally found something that's gonna make my work less tedious and more interesting. I cut two pieces and then glued one inch foam on top of them and then made points on them for the tufting. And I also made holes on those points with a pair of scissors. I'm gonna be attaching this to the wood that's inside the box. And now the shape that I made with a large cardboard box is going to be attached by the side. When I was done with that, I turned it over and then I attached the wooden pieces that I have at the bottom. I'll be using this gold faux leather fabric for the sides. All I'm doing is locating where the points are with my hand and then stippling it down with a staple gun. I cut the excess fabric and then glued what I had neatly to the box. While the excess that I have by the side and at the bottom were held down with a staple gun. For the arms of both chairs, the top is going to be covered with a little piece of faux leather fabric. I did this on both sides. Now the middle is going to be covered with foam. After attaching the foam, it will be covered with this purple velvet fabric. I cut off some excess board at the top because I intend to use the inside for storing things like throws. The next thing I'll do is make the sitting for the chair. I made sure that the fabric was long enough to cover the foam and to also meet with the excess fabric and then glue them all together.
These are the legs that I'll be attaching at the bottom, but before I attach them, I spray painted them gold. I used angle plates because I want the legs to be installed at an angle. I'll be covering the top of the arms with bling wrap. I then took off the handle of the iMic box and spray painted it gold. And then I'm gonna put it back and glue on bling wrap on top. I'll be attaching this trim by the side and I'll be attaching it with tack nails. On the tufted of design, I have the staple pins showing, so I'm gonna cover that up with crystal buttons. To enable me close the throw starch properly, I'm gonna be attaching this magnet clip here and attaching a metal plate at the top. Now my awesome accent chair is done. I absolutely love this chair and it has a mid-century vibe to it. It is so unique and to think that it all started with an empty iMac box. I don't know about you, but every time I have a strong and sturdy box, I feel so guilty throwing it away. So I try to figure out other ways to use it. And I'm so happy that I was able to turn this to this. I love everything about this DIY and I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.